in this video we're gonna add water nutrients and grow something our little five gallon tote with about four and a half gallons of water out of the tap let's sit for 48 hours and now we're gonna put some nutrients in it so we're gonna put a half teaspoon of master blend make sure it's completely dissolved a half teaspoon of Epsom salt and a half teaspoon of calcium nitrate mixed in this order per manufacturer's instruction now we're just going to give it a mix Now we need to pH it down to 6.0. So we're gonna add some pH down to get it down to 6.0. Got it down to 6.6. .6, so all we're gonna do is add a little more, keep on mixing, and I'll see you when we get to that target. Well, I got it down to 6.1, and I think I'm gonna leave it there. According to this chart, for lettuce, 5.5 to 6.5. So 6.1 will do just fine. Okay, so now we're gonna plant some of these green onion kitchen scraps and some leftover lettuce sprouts. But before we put these in the system, we need to cut some pool noodles. I cut them about one inch thick and then we're gonna cut them at the 12 o'clock position and the four o'clock position. And there you have it. This is how I use a pool noodle in my hydroponic system. I'm carefully going to break up the cocoa peat so I can remove these baby sprouts. Rinse off cocoa peat in a little cup of water and then separate them out and put one in each pool noodle. And after I set them all in the system I kick back and relax and watch them grow. Checking the pH every two to three days. It's day 15 and it's time to harvest some of the green onion. Just in 15 days folks. I think it's pretty incredible how this system works. So we're just going to cut the big stalks and leaving the little baby shoots to harvest another day.
Well, you can see the lettuce needs more time. So make sure you catch the next episode of the Hydroponic Mini Grow series. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.